Mike's done us proud with this car. On the face of it, it seems in really good order. Now, there is a problem with the clutch, which I'm gonna to have to look at later on, but essentially, mechanically, it's okay. Now, it's a performance motor, and I do have a little trick up my sleeve to make it go that a little bit better. Of all the things I could do to the engine to increase its performance, changing the air filter is probably the simplest and cheapest. Now on our Beamer, it's actually down in the guts of the motor, but essentially what it's doing is filtering out any dust and debris that would otherwise be sucked into the engine. Now by its very nature, an air filter actually restricts airflow, but our performance air filter reduces that restriction by almost 50%. Now that's going to give us better acceleration and more brake horsepower. <laughs> Okay, well this thing I've just removed is actually two things. We have the airflow meter here and the air filter, which I'm about to remove and replace with our lovely shiny new one, which is gonna go there. When dismantling factory fitted parts, you're never too sure what you're gonna get inside. So rather than risk losing washers and nuts inside the engine bay, the best thing to do is come to a nice clean space like a workbench and that way you'll be fine. Okay, now here's the old air filter. As you can see, it needed to be changed anyway because it's absolutely filthy. And here's our new filter, and it doesn't actually need any of this casing, so I'm going to remove all this black plastic and then actually just end up with just the airflow meter. This is the thing I want. This is my airflow meter. I'm now going to attach this to this with this. Well, that's the air filter put on. All I have to do now is secure it in place with the Jubilee clip that comes in the kit. Because we no longer need the old air filter housing, we've actually lost these mounting brackets which attach this to the engine bay. Thankfully, they've actually supplied a new bracket in the kit. With our air filter assembly now complete, it's very easy to fit it to the car. This bolt here attaches to the original airbox mounting point, and this end attaches to the rubber boot which goes onto the manifold. That's the air filter fitted. All we have to do now is the cold air hose, and all this does is guide cold, fresh air from the front of the car up through this hose into the air filter. That looks great, but let's see if we can hear the difference. That sounds wicked, and Mike is going to have such a treat with this.